Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and we're back here in my front yard. And I wanted to show you guys an update on the Moringa trees. If you guys click right here on the screen right here, click on that video, that's from 40 days ago when I just topped my Moringa trees back to about six feet, all the branches cut off 40 days ago. Click on it and check them out. And this is the update, video number two. And here's the growth. This Moringa has about this much growth now. All this green is all new. About two or three feet of growth in the last 40 days. If you check out these guys right here, this guy has all this growth with lots of flowers. The edible Moringa flowers. I can already feel the health benefits invading every cell in my body. <laughs> and then this one looks so nice. A lot of dense foliage on this guy, also has flowers. And this is the king of all Moringa. For some reason, the trunk on this Moringa is twice the thickness of the other trunks. He doesn't put off many flowers, but he has delicious leaves and puts off the most growth. So this guy's looking very strong. And the canopy of Moringa has started. So I'll come back to you guys another month. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. I'll come back to you guys next month with another update. And you guys can see the 20 to 25 feet of growth be put on these Moringas as they make a canopy walkway to shade my house in the Phoenix summer and I get to eat fresh and then dehydrate all the leaves. And if you want to know more about Moringa trees, Google search Moringa health benefits and I think they're one of the most heat tolerant and drought tolerant plants out there. They're all edible, 100%. They have a multivitamin of nutrients inside of them, almost healthier to eat than kale. And they're one of the best trees everyone in the Phoenix area should be planting.